Hi, this is Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And here we are on part three on smoothly moving a WordPress site from one host to another. And what we've done already is we've gone into, she's moving it from another site and she's moving it over to HostGator. And we've not moved the domain name. It's still, her DNS servings, her name servers is still pointing uh, to the old host where it's at right now. Um, over at HostGator, we went and did automatic install, and then we went in and we changed something in the database so we can actually access the new WordPress site uh, by just going there through a uh, uh, URL that just goes to, to, to her files, which was um, something like HostGator is Gator, uh, with some numbers, HostGator.com, and then the cPanel username. And that's where she's going in and can log in right now and get it all the way set up and looking like she wants it to look. And then we'll move her domain. So the domain name is pointing. We'll have it point to HostGator instead of where it's pointing to right now. Uh, once you have this, let me go ahead and show you how it's set up and what it looks, looks like so far. Okay, this is her live site. And you can see this here. And oh, what we're going to do with Mill, you know, she's moving all her information over to her new site. And her new site looks like this. Now, when you do the automatic install and they ask for the name of your site, it just kind of by default puts in your domain name. And you probably want to go in and put like capitalize them and put spaces between them and not have the dot com there unless you want it. I went ahead and left it there. So when this starts looking more like the other site, we can go back and forth and, okay, this is the new one that we're still working on. This is the one that's not live yet. And then once she has it ready to go live, then go ahead and change it back with capitalize it. This can be changed easily in the settings. Here we are in the dashboard and we're in the settings. And like right here, the site um, URL is still going to here and we're going to have it go to the host gator thing right now, for right now. And then later on it can go. She can change the email address to whatever it wants. It just kind of made something up by default, and she may have something else she's wanting to use there in it. Uh, but anyway, these things can go back and be changed. When she's ready to have the site title be capitalized with the spaces, she needs to go back into settings. This is under general setting tab, and she can change it and, you know, and hit save changes, and it'll be ready to go. Okay, now once you have things set up this far, and you might as well go ahead and go in there and when it says to update, go ahead and update things. Uh, my internet is lousy today and it keeps going down. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, uh, you have a WordPress. You might as well. Nothing's in here yet. This is a great time to make sure everything's updated and put in there. And same time, plugins. Always keep everything updated as much as you can. Uh, Sometimes these are security issues and they help and they work better. Now, the Kismet, this is a spam filter and you have to go put in your, um, to activate it, you have to put in your API number from WordPress. If you don't have an API number, you'll have to get that. I'm actually not using the Kismet in my new ones I'm setting up right now. I'm using a plugin called Anti Spam B. And I'm putting that in instead. But you can put in whatever plugins you want. Go ahead. If you're copying from another site, the easiest thing is, is to go into the old site and see what plugins you're using and putting them back in here. And then you can have everything just the same. And then later you can go back in and change them if you want to make changes to your site. Okay, here we are in the, uh, this is the original site, the one we're moving from. And she has a modified WordPress dashboard. It's not the same with her host. And with this, there's certain things that they are, you know, they're teaching her how to use WordPress, which is cool. But what is not cool is they disabled being able to uh, export her files from here and import someplace else. And that part is not good. I'm going to go in and right here's the plugins. And what you want to do is you want to copy the same plugin so you have the same plugins on your new site as your old site, unless you want to change them. And you can see the plugins are right back here. Anyway, I will be back with the next.